Hey guys, Pretty Kitty Gaming here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, hi, baby. My cat just came in. Come here. <clears throat> uh, last time we met all four girls, uh, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and uh, Monica. But for some reason, she's not here in the poem making process. I've literally not moved forward at all. Um, I had to actually go back and replay some so that I could save it right before this happened. So. This is Ash. This is my baby. Alright, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Ah, well, that means I have to choose something. Okay. I have to pick one of these three. Okay. Uh, explode. Oh. Um, warm music. I like music, so uh, fluffy philosophy. Uh, fun. Oh, uh. Charm. No! I'm trying to like make it even because I don't know who I like yet. Sugar. Ribbon. Disaster. Okay, I think they're all even now. Uh, joy. Laugh. Shoot. Uh. Candy. Uh. Boop. <laughs> oh, a kitty. I want to do the kitty. But I need to get more on her. Despise. Entropy. 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 Uh, anime. <laughs> Dream. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Uh, jumpy. No. Ah, uh, summer. No. She has more. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> oh, oh, my face is really warm. <clears throat> Hi again, Bailey. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Ha Yeah, you're doing that thing that I told you not to do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, don't worry about it. Nah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keep thanks thanks for keeping your promise, Bailey. Forget what voice I gave you. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you to dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on! He deserve like he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you just if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Not to keep. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club club room. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, look at that, she's blushing. Oh, so is Yuri. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Yeah, that would be a little... Yeah. Manga is literature! Well, uh, apparently my character in games enjoys reading manga, so... Swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Bailey always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. I forgot I was a dude. <laughs> he helps me when I'm busy work. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. <coughs> Excuse me. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Bailey could become good friends too. Um... Sayori, hmm? She's apparently oblivious. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh boy. Oh, oh! Yuri, you... Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Oh, that's me. Me? Um, not really. Their voices are blending together! Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound so. Mm -hmm. That's Yuri still talking. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Oh, that's nice. It'll make me happy no matter what. Oh, that's real nice. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. That's legit me, though. If you guys, if like, if the person that I'm talking to doesn't want to make a big deal out of something, then I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. If it's something personal with them and they don't want it being a big deal, then don't make it a big deal. That's as simple as that. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book and that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. 
Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Mmm, <coughs> <coughs> I have a bad cough today. It hurts. I'm sorry again. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already bur buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Music change. You looking for something in there? Frickin' Monica! She, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. I always have this expression when I do her, 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 her voice. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read- you, you read manga, right? I am so bad at her voice. Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. She has a freaking collection that she keeps in the classroom. I think you know where she stands. How, how did you know anyway? I heard you, I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. I have nothing written on my face. What is that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of m manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with sit, set with one book missing, okay. <laughs> Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Wow, her, her voice is giving me a headache. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, Bailey. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cup. Well, she, it looks like she's got like one of them little pointy teeth that like felines do. Like a canine teeth, but like hers is more distinct than the rest of theirs is what I guess I'm trying to say. I don't know. Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Blah? 
Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? No! The floor is amazing! I love the floor. I love sitting on the floor. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read the same at the same time like that. Eh? Why is that? Eh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Ah. Just, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So... What should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously! You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get into their backstories and when some of the romances start to happen, that's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? What? Natsuki gives me a little shove. <laughs> I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Hmm. <laughs> Good save. Ah. This chapter seems like it's about baking. Ah, uh, still in here? I think my cat is still in here. This is just... A guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into something, into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Definitely not a coincidence. <laughs> I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. 
Not to mention she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? Oh, this is adorable! Oh. We read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you were just watching me read? Well, well, I, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't? Um, oh, it's our eyes move. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think... They th just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. I think I'm starting to like Natsuki, though. Like, uh, like I think... I mean, she's the only one that I've really spent time like this with, but she's very similar to the friends that I like to hang out with, so... I don't know. I think... I think I like her right now. So next poem I'm probably gonna make for her, I guess. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait. Which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well... It's not like it solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh. Hmm. So? Uh -huh. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Ugh. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. Uh, sparks with excitement. <laughs> It's a spark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when, when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Huh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Mm. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Stop that. I don't like that. I don't like that position. Stop it. Mm. Sorry. No, you're not. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. Huh? <laughs> eh? Ah! Natsuki suddenly noticed how close she's gotten to me. 
She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches from me. Mm. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Yeah, but... Monica just said, Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. What? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. I It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow and we can start on the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> By tomorrow? I only get... I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some of my shows if I try to get through this, but I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? <laughs> Alright all then. I, I stand up. And I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I actually wrote it today, so... Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't- I- I can't- I can't wait! Whoa, I look into the light and now I have a circle. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri- Oops. I suppose they reluctantly took out their sheets of paper, but I don't know how their paper looks or anything, so I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? The music's changed again. Let's show it to Natsuki since it seemed like she had more jumps in the poem. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, well that's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Okay. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ooh, you're so... You just... You... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. I clicked out of game. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, 
fine, I guess. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, return, there we go. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, Pe people can try, but that's about it. Oh. Yeah. I, I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so conceived that I wouldn't like it? Oh, convinced. Wh convinced. Why were you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? <laughs> well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. It's like when I say when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understood. I kind of did. Yeah, I kind of got what she was talking about in the poem. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a, ry a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, I am going to stop the video here again and we'll show the poem to the other three uh, later. So if you like Doki Doki Literature Club, hit the like button, let me know. And uh, I haven't been able to read the comments of the last video, if there are any, I don't know if there will be, because um, I'm recording this about the day or two after I recorded the last one. So. If you would like to leave comments uh, about poems or what books you enjoy reading, what not, what um, genre, uh, leave that down in the comments below. But if you like Doki Doki Literature Club, hit the like button, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye.